Right, so uh, this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being set aside, uh, moving to the uh, reading directly now the first one which represents the general topic of the week for us scorpio is going to be the nine the knights of uh, wands moving next we do have the energies that are feeding up the situation here that is to be the page of swords followed by the challenges that we need to overcome here that is to be uh, the uh, hierophant card moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, we get to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be uh, the Tree of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the impression of others. What kind of impression you're going to make into the people around. That is to be the impression of the Death card. And the last one, which stands for the guidance that Tsaru is offering. Uh, we do have the Five of Wands. So those, uh, those six cards. And actually, it's... Uh, it's quite baffling. I'd say it does look like that we are to have a lot of um, contradictive factors into, uh, into this week, especially with this person that appears who is the Knight of Wands itself. And it's like we are to struggle getting on the same page with that person. Uh, but let's, uh, let's scrutinize the reading uh, card by card, okay? So, first couple of cards here, which are showing the topic of this person, Knights of Wands, and the energies that are feeding up the topic here of the Page of Swords, it really speaks about a someone who, it's uh, by their nature, they are very energetic people, quite enterprising as well, and uh, for them it's very usual to get excited very easily uh, of different stuff in general when when life kind of takes um kind of have varieties they get excited like said uh, very very easily uh however with those energies it does look like that their excitement is not going to be something that we are going to tolerate a lot now the page of swords here points that um uh, well, pretty much that we and that person itself are going to be on the edge and looking at the other cards, uh, we are talking about different understanding and different ideas, how to think, how the things are to move forward from now on, either career wise or either relationship wise. I mean, that could be, uh, for example, that our partner in relationship could be excited about something that we are not finding very appealing, that we are finding silly, for example, goofy uh, and stupid in general, and that we do not want to have anything to do with it. And here it is where, you know, the wrangles are going to start uh, appearing. Now, Rango is uh, when there are pointless arguments around. But um, with those energies and, uh, and that situation itself, it looks like that we, uh, as a Scorpio, will have to deal with someone that it is within our life, uh, which wants to execute something. And they're pretty determined, by the way, because the Knights of Wands, they kind of uh, are willing and not just only willing but ready say to do whatever it takes in order to reach their destination and their goal and that will be additional problem for us to overcome here as it will be very difficult to sway them off of what they want to do uh, and we're not going to see it as a productive as they're seeing it as simple as that and uh, pretty much what we're going to think of it is that their aim in general it's more like a fiction and fantasy than a something objective and argumentative that uh, a, a person can go for uh, now additionally to that those cards could play out as well as a um, not having tolerance any longer for someone who thinks only for themselves in the sense of that because the, the, the page of swords especially energy wise it could speak about cleaning up purging a certain environment in this case the environment that the knight of wands takes place at so it's kind of like we may not have um 
a nerves any longer to withstand the craziness and as well the lack of consistency because knights of wands lack consistency uh, and as well the broken promises that this person gave to us in one or another way and we are simply going to pretty much stop relying on them you know and it's it's like purging the whole situation with them in, in other words not having them by ourselves any longer in um, in our lifespan for example uh, okay, so uh, that being said, moving to the next one, which is the challenge that uh, we have to overcome throughout the week. And the challenge is going to be to breathe sense into this one, okay? Because uh, in this particular case, the Hierophant, it does speak about the guidance and about the, and, and about the counsel we can provide here to this person, Knight of Wands. And uh, the tough part, it will be to convince them and to tell them, not to tell them but to display to them why what they are after and why what they want to do here it will be wrong uh, and it's not going to have any productivity whatsoever and uh, the cha the challenge the challenging part of it it will be about the arguments uh, uh, and about the proofs we have to lay out in front of those people to to make our points more clear or across and to in generally to breed sense into their uh, into their minds now uh, needless to say here is that according to those cards one or another way now that person is really charging toward some sort of a destruction in the sense of that what they're after it may it may look very well into their minds right now but definitely is going to make them it, uh, it's going to place them excuse me in a worse situations and in the worst circumstances than the circumstances at that point now this particular interaction to me looks a lot like for example um parent and a child where the child thinks that they can do something you know they pretty much they know what it is good for them but that's not the case in that particular situation and you have to find a way how you can sway their opinion one way or another you know, or it could be a business partner that wants to take a certain business maneuver. You know that that business maneuver is going to be a bad maneuver, but they don't see it that way. So it will be a tough and challenging for you to try to kind of like sway their opinion not to take on this particular business maneuver. Uh, and uh, one way you can do it here with the Hierophant, it is to show them their place. In other words, for what it seems, you have a bigger leverage in a sense of that you can enforce your opinion and you can pretty much demand or rather um, order that uh, order that your will is to be obeyed or to bend them on your will and that will be challenging because for one or another way you may be friends with that person okay or you may have them there to your heart and you may not want to go that way but unfortunately at the end of the day uh, if you are strong enough and if you want the um, the whole enterprise in between you two to continue on forward maybe you will have to step out and just you know display your strength at that particular point moving next uh, we do have the gifts and the blessings here uh, that you are to enjoy throughout the week that is the gift and the blessing through the uh, uh, three of pentacles and i don't know if you guys are gonna take it as a gift and a blessing but uh, in that particular case the three of pentacles points that anything you say to that person knights of wands is going to have a foundation is gonna be true in general every criticism you shoot and you address to them every conversation that you make and intentionally wise that you will want to support them through a their development is going to be on the money uh now one another thing however it is are they gonna take it or not and um as a gifts and blessings this card points that should you be persistent enough and should you put the higher hint to bear in a sense of that place that person where they belong they are gonna listen eventually to you but the card here points that it requires a lot of conversations, a lot of convincing as well. And in generally, that person itself, the Knights of Wands, they need to see that you have their bag. You're not doing it because you want to 
hurt them in any way or because you know you want to make them feel bad you're doing it because you want to pray much together with them you keep on having that cooperation that beautiful cooperation that you had up until now and as a gift and blessing if you um kind of achieve that state you can pretty much rely from now on moving forward to that person itself because at the end of the day the tree of pentacles as a gift and blessing offers you support through development mutual support through a one's development so we can say here with this card it is that whatever you do have in common is going to proceed okay if uh how can i say it? if you can uh if you can convince them not to do what they're anticipating to do and if you cannot well in that case it's time to just purge it out uh moving next uh, we do have uh, the impression of the people around that is the impression of the death card and pretty much how the people are going to see you it is that uh, you are someone who is finding themselves in an environment that a lot of things are in flux say and they have to stop and they have to change all right so with the death card people are going to see you as someone who is closing a chapter and is opening a new chapter and in that particular uh, that particular narrative here it is where you pretty much show your feet and you show what you are made of and at the end of the day you kind of like put once again the hierarchy into bear and probably nobody saw you that way back uh, beforehand but now people were seeing uh, whom they truly have to deal with and whom they are uh, in generally have a business with in that particular uh, in that particular situation and as you can show your good side you have to be able to show your bad side as well and it is exactly how people are going to look at you and how going to take at you that you can be good with those who listen and who are good with you but with those who are treating you like a scumbag you can be a scumbag all right and you can be really a a, a nasty person so it's it's like uh, reciprocal measures that you are giving to everybody according to whatever measures they are giving to you as well and finally what we do have it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you guys and we do have uh, the five of wands so uh, uh, this is where the contradictory resides okay uh, because the five of wands it kind of points that uh, whatever the knights of wands is after and whatever um, how can I say it? idea or on an endeavor they want to do and while it is incorrect to do it right now it is not a bad thing okay and it probably can be executed moving forward into the future it is just right now the times are not very favorable and are the times aren't predisposing okay so that idea or on an endeavor enterprise to be carried on however <clears throat> It, it's worth keeping keeping it in uh, keeping it in under consideration and whenever you know the environment is much more uh, favorable to make an, an execution upon that idea or upon that endeavor additionally to that the five of wands here points uh, that uh, this is a bit, little bit of a different subject but it does point that the week is going to be a, a fantastic period for every single one of us to resurrect something in a sense of that something that have failed or it is about to fail to be reversed into a utter success because that is the best trait of the five of wands to uh, kind of like uh, uh, reverse completely the course of direction or in other words from being at the rock bottom to get the upper hand so that being said Scorpio this was our weekly general tarot reading guys it does look like that a lot of arguments are ahead of us with our beloved one with our uh, business partner with our children as well for those who have it you know with our wife or husband and it's all about we protecting them it may not look like that way okay but at the end of the day it is exactly that way that we don't want them to do something that they are going to regret moving forward into the future because we see the situation in a more sober way than they are seeing it because their excitement it is what's kind of like uh, 
puts a delusion in front of them. So yeah, that being said, that was uh, our general tarot reading, March 23rd to March 29, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, depending on the service you decide to purchase, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours telling you how the reading is going to take place. Stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.